in this video we are going to visit the kumaranallur karthyayini devi temple at kottayam district in kerala kumaranallur devi temple is considered as one of the most important devi temples among the 108 durgalayas in kerala the temple is said to be more than 2000 years old the architecture of the temple is notable for the unique structure of the nalambalam and sri kovil both of which have been built in the sri chakra style this kind of architecture is rarely found in temple architecture namaskar welcome to satish shankar's vibes The temple is situated in an area of 15000 square meters. The main gopuram of the temple faces towards the east direction and high walls surrounding the temple with other three gopurams in each direction. While entering the temple, the temple view presents a divine picture. Getting into the temple through the main gopuram one can see the golden twajambam with carvings of many sculptures including those of ganapati and shiva and other saints on pillars murals in kumaranallur temple are precious and rare the outer walls of the sanctum sanctorum are decorated with wall painting of hindu gods goddesses and incidents from great epics ramayana and mahabharata natural colors and medicinal plants were used to color these frescoes inside the nalambalam sri kovil and the main mandapam are surrounded by paths made of carved stones the temple of shiva is on the right side of the main sri kovil badragali temple is situated on the south of the temple along with a full stretched surrounding path on carved stones for the whole temple Cheraman Perumal was the ruling emperor of Kerala 2000 years back he began the construction of a temple at Udayanapuram near Vaikam to install the idol of goddess Durga while commence the construction of another temple at a place which is later known as kumaranallur to install the idol of lord kumara meanwhile there was an incident at madurai meenakshi temple at madurai in tamil nadu the gem studded nose ring of devi was stolen or found missing this shocking news came to the palace the king ordered an enquiry At the same time he ordered to kill the priest of the temple unless he could solve this problem within 41 days because the nose ring would not be lost without his concern or intimation or knowingness however the priest was innocent he was confused and perplexed in this dilemma he took refuge at the feet of devi As days and weeks progressed the grief stricken priest spent his days and nights crying and praying on the night of the 40th day he slept at the doorsteps of the temple meditating and contemplating his fate that his life would reach an end on the next day however he had a dream that night devi appeared before him and ordered him to quit the place at once the perplexed and bewildered priest winked his eyes he had seen a tejas divine light moving forward he followed it without being aware of where he was going the tejas led him a long distance and finally reached the place which later became known as kumaranallur at kumaranallur the temple was under construction to install the idol of lord subramanya the tejas entered into the sri kovil of the temple 
moreover it was at the pradishta time that the tejas entered the sri govil then there was an asariri kumaran allah uril meaning this place is not for kumara this is kumaris devi's place hence it got the name kumaran allur chairman perumal was disappointed and frustrated he traveled to udayanapuram to install the idol of kumara at the temple which was under construction on the way perumal encountered some obstacles but finally managed to reach udayanapuram and install the idol of subramanya at the sri kovil of the temple later perumal returned to kumaranallur with the devi's idol and began the preparation for installing it there yet another thought struck him that the idol has to be changed there was an idol lying in water at vedagiri a nearby place perumal brought the idol from vedagiri magarishi parasurama had supposedly made and worshiped the idol in past at the time of installation a brahmin sage with matted hair came and entered the sri kovil and installed the idol in a second as soon as the installation of idol was done he vanished to this date people believe that the brahmin sage was maharishi parasurama the brahmin priest who followed the tejas from madurai became the priest of the temple his residence is known as madurai illam his successors worship the devi even today the important festival of the temple is tirukartika celebrated in the month of ruchigam on the kartika day it is usual to make a naivedyam offering in the presence of the udayanapuram and trishur vadakunnada temples Thank you.
like this video express it by pressing the like button share it with your friends and family do share your views in the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you and we shall meet in our next video